guys on the previous video we have watched how the uh, expansion shield works with the arduino nano and how the extended version of the arduino nano is uh, what are the properties and atc if you have not watched it i am putting it in the description box you can go and watch it now okay if you have not watched it please go and watch it because it is the intro part of this extension shield of the arduino nano and this is the second part of the video okay in which we will control the servo motor with this extension shield so before starting this is Prio from shiny electronics and if you are new to my channel please go and watch all the videos and do hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel and also like the videos if you would really like it and share with your friends more and more so let's get started Zombie so guys at the beginning uh, we will mount the arduino nano to this expansion shield okay don't mount the arduino nano like this because otherwise you will develop problems in programming the nano mount the arduino nano like this by giving the direction of the uh usb cable input to the this side okay now mount it okay so after mounting the arduino nano we will use this USB cable to program the Arduino Nano okay uh, here you can see that three wires are outputted from the servo motor which are the yellow one is the signal or data the red wire is the VCC or plus 5 volts and the brown wire is the ground okay so if the servo motor is connected to pin number 4 of the extension shield or pin number 4 of the arduino nano then we have uh, you have to connect it to pin number 4 and you have to remember that the blue one here is the pin number 4 actually and the uh, red and black are the plus and minus so we take it like this and just connect it on the extension shield You can see the connection here the yellow one has gone to the blue the red one has gone to the red and the brown has gone to the black that is the ground so this is our simple connection simplest connection we will change our connection according to the program or code okay if you have uh, given pin number three in the code then we will attach this to the pin number three if you have given pin number five then we will attach this to the pin number five according to the code the connection will also change so now it's time to program your setup. You can see after switching the uh, computer on the Arduino Nano and also the extension expansion shield uh, has also started. So now we will program the shield. Okay. We will upload the code for running a single servo motor with arduino okay which is same for arduino nano as well as arduino uno here in the code uh, which is very simple the af motor uh, is declared at first as a header file here okay and the servo dot h is declared as a header file uh, and here in the void setup part we have uh, declared the pin number to which my servo is attached here mine is pin number 4 so i have uh, made it to pin number 4 if you have attached to any other pin you can change it according to your uh, choice okay and uh, here you can see that at first the servo is at 0 degree and then it will rotate up to 180 degree you can also change the angle from here up to 90 degree or uh, whatever okay so and here is the delay uh that means after rotating 0 to 180 there will be a delay of 1000 milliseconds okay and again it will rotate to 0 degree so again after 1000 millisecond uh, it will go to 180 degree and in this way the process will continue so the code is very much simple just compile the sketch 
okay and after the compiling is done upload the code to your arduino okay and you can see the working of the servo it is rotating from 0 to 180 degree the delay is uh, 1000 if i make the delay to 500 let's see what happens upload the code So now we will connect another servo motor to the shield. So let's see what happens. Uh, we have taken another servo motor. Okay. We will attach another servo to suppose pin number 9 here. Okay. One is connected to pin number 4 and another is connected to pin number 9. Okay. Here, like the previous code, the AF motor and servo is declared as a header file and servo 1 and servo 2 were declared since we have used two servos and initially the servo position are set to 0. Okay, and here the pin number is declared which mine is pin 4 and pin 9. You can change it according to your code or according to your connection. Okay, uh, and here the servo position is set from 0 to 180 degree for, for both the servos and then from 90 degree to 0 degree in the decrement order for the two servos okay and the delay in between is 20 milliseconds you can see here so the servo will rotate from 0 to 180 degree and uh, will again decrease from 90 degree to 0 degree uh, in a slower manner okay so after compiling the sketch you should upload the code to your arduino and let's see how it works